Hello there, I hope everybody is safe and in this video I'm going to introduce you a new web part we have in SharePoint Online. You may know already this web part, but if that's not the case, that's why I'm introducing you the new organization chart with part, web part we have in SharePoint Online. So here I am in a modern SharePoint Online site that is actually a team site. It's tied to a Microsoft team, but um, the same organization chart I'm going to show you in this video you can use in any communication site you have in your SharePoint Online tenant. So, first of all, I'm going to edit the home page of this site and just below the news web part I'm going to add my organization chart web part. So, as you can know, so as you know, sorry, we can search for the web part by doing a scroll down. Here we have the organization chart, of course. We can use the search box in order to look for the web part, but we don't need that because we don't have so many web parts over here. So I'm going to click on chart, organization chart web part. And yeah, the organization chart web part is already in the page. Now, what I have to do is just to start tuning the web part. So, as you can see here, I have to type the name or email address of a corporate user so I can start displaying the organization chart. So, for this demo, I'm going to use a Miriam. Miriam is just a director in Contoso. And Miriam has some people that is reporting directly to her. And of course, Miriam uh, has also a manager uh, to who uh, he, she has to report to also. How, how do I display the manager of Miriam? Well, as you can see here, this is a SharePoint Online web part. So there should be some settings on the web part. And that's the case. So if I click on the pencil, what I'm going to see is just a single property for this web part that allows me to uh, basically choose the number of reporting levels we want to display in this group part. You can put here any number, but of course, the information you're going to see in the organization chart really depends on how well it's informed your Azure IT, Azure Active Directory. So if I put three, yeah, you are going to see that Patty Fernandez is the president of Contoso and Miriam is reporting to Patty. And uh, yeah, we have also eight, eight people that uh, are actually reporting to Miriam. So we can close on the organization chart settings panel and then we can publish the page. And here we have our organization part that is nice, it's beautiful. Let's say that it's not a perfect organization chart web part, but at least it's something and it's out of the box in SharePoint Online sites. So I hope you will be using it. And that's all for my site today. Uh, please stay safe and take care. I know the situation is not very good today, but yeah, we have many tools to stay at home, uh, work remotely, and do the best with the tools we have in our hand. So yeah, talk to you soon. Bye bye.